Still looking for a laptop to choose? Today I'm talking about all things Lenovo X-Series. Hi, it's April from Skycomp. Today I'm going to talk about four of the Lenovo X-Series laptops. Today I have the X1 Carbon, I have the newest X9 model, the X12 Detachable, and the X13. These computers are pretty similar in regards to they're all part of the premium line. You're going to get up to a U7 processor, so you have that stipulation of you know U9. None of these include a GPU, so we're not talking graphics. If you are looking for a computer that you need for SolidWorks or for AutoCAD, you are on the wrong video. Today we are going to talk about this more at an executive level. These computers all have fantastic finishes. They are smudge proof. To an extent. And now let's dive into some details on each specific model. I'm going to start with the X1 Carbon. If you've seen previous videos, you know this is my favorite. This is the lightest out of all of the X1 or the X series computers. This is made primarily out of carbon fiber, which is what's giving it that weight. You can get RAM in this upgradable to 64 gigs, one terabyte solid state drive, and this is part of the Lenovo's new Aura Edition computers. You can get this as an AI Plus Copilot, which just means that it's being provided more NPU power to offset some of those AI processes that you might be running in the background. Second, I would like to talk about the X9. This is the newest addition to Lenovo's fleet. This has a little bit different of a look than you're used to seeing. You will notice the trackpad, that red dot in the middle of your keyboard, is not on this computer. You're also going to notice that the touch screen is just one touch scroll screen. You have no buttons. It's just giving a bit more of a modern feel as opposed to the others in the line and somebody who's coming off of a another branded computer might find this more appealing. The other unique with this system, it's the only X series that you can get in a 15 inch screen. The difference between getting this in a 15 inch screen as opposed to the other Think systems is that you are still not going to get a, a number pad if you get a 15 inch. So that's one thing to consider, especially if you're working with finance, that's usually a stipulation of the lead. You cannot get a number pad in any of these X series computers, even in a 15 inch. This computer also includes the Aura Edition. You can get this model with the NPUs, with the Copilot, the PC plus Copilot. Next, we're going to talk about the X12. This is a bit more unique in the way that the body is built. Um, it has that tablet feel. You have the keyboard that's the accordion. It attaches via a magnet on the bottom. You can reattach simply by putting it close together. Um, this is a bit heavier, especially the screen portion. This is not going to be for everyone, but it is a great option if you are traveling a lot, if you like the versatility of that two-in-one feel. It also comes included with the pen. The pen attaches via a sleeve instead of magnet. It, I have seen them attached with a magnet with other models, um, and I honestly would prefer this. If it's attaching with a magnet, you tend to lose it quite often. As I mentioned, this does have that tablet style feel. However, it is still mil spec tested like all Lenovo Think series computers. The keyboard is a little more rugged than you're used to seeing with the, the flimsy tablet keyboards. It has a trackpad, a full touch pad, um, camera, privacy shutter. This is a PC. It just has that mobility piece. The next computer I'd like to talk about is the X13. This one you're going to see looks very similar to the X1 Carbon. There's a few differences. The materials it's made out of, there's no carbon fiber. This is quite a bit more heavier and you can feel the metal on the bottom. Um, the bezel on this is also a bit thicker. So this is a 13 inch, but you're gonna notice it's about the same size as that 14 inch. There's really not a lot of differences when you put them side by side. The bezel on the 14 inch also drops a little bit lower. When you get closer, you can see this is not as well built as the other three that we've just spoken about, especially the first two. Um, however, this is a great option if you'd like something a little bit more premium. Maybe you're a student, you need something smaller to carry around. It is still comparing to other laptops very thin. It's very sleek looking. It is still mil spec tested. It's a great option, but I would recommend the system more to somebody who is in a student or an entry level position. Another thing I want to mention with power, if 
As I discussed, if you're looking for the most powerful X series computer, it is going to be the X9. This is going to give you the biggest battery life in the 15 inch model. On the back, you are going to see what Lenovo was referring to as their engine hub. They house all critical components here. It keeps everything extremely cool. So even under heavy use, the processor stays cool, which means that it still runs at the same speed that you would expect a U7 to run rather than throttling to protect its components. Just to summarize, if you are looking for an X1 series, you really can't go wrong with whatever model you choose. Um, they're all upgradable to the U7. If you are looking for something in a 64 gig, the 13 and the 1 are the only two that can go up to, to 64. The 9 and the 12 are upgradable to 32 gigs. They are all mil spec tested. They all go under the rigorous testing that Lenovo puts their business class laptops through to ensure that it is durable enough to support you in whatever role that you are working. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please drop them into the comment section below.